Welcome back. The time now is 617. Joining us this morning via Zoom, we have Jeff from Zoo Montana. And Jeff, we can always count on you having a friend with. Who do you have with you today? Or what do you have with you today? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this cutie. This is Gizmo, our prehensile tailed skink. And a lot of people don't even know these animals exist, but look at how cute that little face is. It's almost like he's smiling at you. And this little animal is found up in the northern reaches of the Solomon Islands, which is northeast of Australia. And they're called prehensile tailed skink because he's got this really cool tail and it wraps around whatever it touches. So you might see like monkeys using their tails in the trees to hold on. These guys do the exact same thing. Such a cool animal and he's brand new to us. Yeah, uh, tell us a little bit about how and why you're interested in uh, bringing him on to the zoo. Yeah, so this, these animals are just, first of all, they're unique. You just don't see skinks that often. A lot of people don't even know they're a thing. They're a type of lizard, by the way. And they're great ambassador animals. They do really well. They're actually quite personable as for a lizard and for a reptile. And so we wanted to bring them in for that reason. They're just something that we knew kids would really get a kick out of. They love to learn about them. They are the biggest skink in the world. And get this, they're one of the few skinks that actually give birth to live young. So when they're born, there's usually two at a time, and they're about a third third of the female's body. They're huge. And there's two of them stuck in there. It's insane. Wow. Versus, um, I guess, eggs, right? Usually reptiles. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I Most guess. reptiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job. You're learning. I'm so proud of you. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. did good. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so impressed by some of his features. I mean, look at his nose. His nose is interesting. His ears look interesting. Can you tell us about how some of that helps him out in the wild? Yeah, absolutely. So this guy is uh, an herbivore. So the primary food is going to be plants and veggies and what have you. Uh, most, a lot of skinks will actually be carnivores, so eating bugs and what have you. But this guy, strictly plants. And so he's got a specialized jaw that allows him to, of course, eat those plants. The ears are actually just little holes on the side of his head. You might be able to see, well, see him right there on the side of his head. That, of course, where he does hear. I uh, hear is a little bit different than we are, really more in vibrations than anything. But then those toes, look at those giant long toes helps them grip they are arboreal meaning they spend the majority of their life up in the trees and again you can see that coloration what a camouflage these guys have in their native lands just so cool that's very cool and where can we see him in the zoo is he a living wall resident he is he's on our living wall so he's going to be across from where our mink is at uh, sometimes he does like to hide so you got to really look really really uh hard to find him uh but if you don't find him i know it's gonna stink <laughs> Stink, stink. Yes, we get uh, it. That was a bad one, I admit. I admit. <laughs> All right. Well, I made a bad joke earlier in the show, so now now we're even. But, Jeff, thank you so right, much for even. being here with us. Um, we do have you on a little bit later in the show, and you have a different friend to introduce us to. Then. I've got a baby this time. Oh, yeah. boy, yay. All right, we'll check back <laughs> in with you in a, in a few. Thank you.